this is a reading for Aries Sun, Moon, or Rising for the month of January 2021. Two of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles. This could be feeling like there's a lot of juggling going on, just, just like the picture. This could be financial, it could be circumstantial, uh, and a need to, to sort of redo things uh, or take your time planning or waiting for the things that you've planted to appear in your life. Um, there could be some things that have happened in the past, some choices that, that, that you had to make based on where your life has taken you. There might have been a pretty a rocky ride, a rocky road there for a bit, and you've reestablished yourself, but you're still juggling the remnants of the choices that you've made in the recent past. This could be juggling people, emotions, money. There could be a little bit of karma involved here as well. Right, right when I said that, we got the moon uh, splitting the deck, judgment, and king of wands. So you might be feeling as if some of the juggling that you're doing and some of the projects that you're waiting for and some of the outcomes that are arising in your life and some of the patience that you've had to have is because of some, some mistakes that you feel you've made or things that you haven't listened to in the past uh, maybe, maybe overshooting or undershooting with confidence and really because you, you weren't seeing things clearly, there might've been some deceit around you or dealing with a situation that was not completely clear for you. same cards are coming out again. Underneath, we've got this toxicity and fool. So it could be also three of cups, sort of finding yourself in these circumstances with the wrong groups of people or just taking chances that you now feel foolish for and also worried about yourself in the sense that you don't want to make the same mistakes as you've made in the past. Right. There was some hasty, hasty move that you've made trying to heal in the recent past. Or there could have been someone who just didn't treat you very well and you reacted to that hastily.
and that is the energy you're 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 feeling like you've got to do things quickly and this feels you know um you know this can be charming uh this could be all eyes on you this could be um really inspired this could be really attracted to someone and taking action so it looks like you're thinking about taking some action in a particular direction and using your charm and your inspiration and all your your fiery energy to do it and it looks like in the near future This is either you or you meeting someone that you work with, someone who is very uh, established and organized, a business person, doing business with somebody who is very reliable. This person can sometimes be a little bit um, just money-minded, earthy, and, and practical and pragmatic, but sometimes not very spiritual. Um, this could be uh, someone who, who is like a CEO or a boss, and it looks like some sort of a job or something that you're working on, uh, working with someone, but whatever you're going for, it looks like you're gonna get involved in some situation with this person or this is the energy that you're going to embody you're definitely feeling like you're feeling like you've got to stand up for yourself uh you might feel like you've got a lot of um, adversity around you, real or imagined, and that you've got to speak your truth regardless. That's just the way that you're looking at things right now. And this could be also you've got uh, an idea of what you want to do and you don't want anyone to tell you um, otherwise. You, you don't you, you're you're you don't want to deal with any sort of pushback you're just not having it but you might be feeling like you're getting a lot see you as happy, joyous, um, potentially boisterous. You might be coming across as overly confident, like attention seeking. This has a little bit of Leo energy here. Um, there could be someone like this in your environment that is, is inspiring you. Um, there could be some things coming to light and getting illuminated uh, around you in regards to certain people that's helping you to see which direction you need to go. Right, so what's, what you're trying to avoid is getting involved in any situations that makes you feel depleted and out in the cold, either spiritually, financially, 
or um, emotionally. That is your your biggest fear is getting in a con getting into a contract that depletes you and and sets you back. So if this is something that happened to you in the past because you feel like there was some hasty moves that were made or something like that, then one thing to remember about this position here is that, you know, thoughts become things. So if you're fearing this and it's occupying your mind a lot, then, and then you're in this energy of taking fast action, even if you're predisposed to take fast action and you've taken fast action in the past, one thing you want to look out for is even though you've got this illumination and you seem to be sharp minded here is to, and I'll get some clarifications, but to really, um, be aware that, that this focus, this fast focus is something that is good but also is what you're afraid of. And if this is a person that you're heading towards, if this is a charming person um, that you've got your eye on, this, this individual might not be the forever person. Uh, they could be fun, a lot of fun, but they might not be the forever person which is potentially why if this is about love and not about career, say, this could be why you're worried about getting involved or making a choice with someone who loves you and leaves you or knocks you out or depletes you or plays mind games or, or does things that take you uh, off your square. is looking pretty good. The two cards that wanted to come out here were Chariot and Strength. So for you, Aries, it looks like the direction that you're going with this clarity and this inner strength is going to lead you to a place where you're even more focused on your direction and you're ready to go there and you're more empowered now what you're heading towards, this might take newfound strength for you to conjure up. Stillness, a stillness, an inner strength, being able to focus and sustain, sustain the energy that you have begun here. Interesting. So at the bottom of the deck for you, we have Empress and Ace of Cups. So if, if you are a man, or you are someone who resonates with the male gender, I think I'm saying that right, um, or you internally resonate with masculine, this could be a feminine energy that you are attracted to, that is a confident person, that is that you want to have a new beginning with. Someone who's loving, nurturing, abundant, just feminines above all feminines. This could be who you're, you've got your eye on. 
if you are feminine energy and this is about romance, this could be you going for this other feminine energy. If this is not about romance, this is a reminder that what can help you this time in reaching your goals is this self-love and inner strength and nurturing other people um, will help you reach your goals this month. Let's see if we need to get any clarifications. I feel like it's pretty, pretty clear and looks pretty positive. So it looks like you, you are concerned with being hasty and getting involved in, in the wrong things. Uh, being pulled in the wrong direction for all the wrong reasons because you feel you've made those mistakes in the past and now you're having to clean that up. But now you've got clear sight and you know which way you're going, whether it's for your career or towards a person, and you are going to get there. Um, one thing to remember is that this inner strength requires focus and self-love and, and nurturing others. Right. If there's a partnership that you're you're building, it definitely looks like something is going to unfold pos um, positively for you. Now, I can't lie, these did come out underneath. We've got dis disruption and wheel of fortune underneath the deck. So if that is something that you're dealing with or have dealt with, it looks like it's all going in a positive direction. So if you've gone through some major life changes that feel out of your hands, know that it's getting you, it's making you stronger, definitely, and it's gonna help you with some of the, your, your controlling your impulses and coming from a place that you'll be more proud of in the future. message for you is to pay attention to your dreams, whether waking or asleep, that there, there could be things that you, you might have been having dreams and that are helping guide you in the right direction, even in your daydreams, that, that There are signs in front of you. And if you're feeling that way, this is this is confirmation for you. Interesting. And then right underneath this, we got, I am the dreamer of my dream. So we got two dream cards. I am the dreamer of my dream. And they're both purple. So you've got your heart chakra, but even more so your crown chakra, crown and third eye to really use that this month. It's going to real, it's going to help you. And you've been building strength to be able to tune in in great ways that you haven't before.